Okay, so I'm attempting my first try on a, a Pinterest thing I saw called No Bake Reese's Fudge Bars. So what you guys need is a pan with some tin foil in it. And then what you do is you just layer it in here. And then you're supposed to spray it with a cooking oil. Now what you need is 22 Reese's Pieces, and what I found out, it's cheaper to get the 8-pack than get a bag. You pay $2 more to get a bag, and you get the same amount. So what you end up doing is you're going to unwrap these out of the wrapper. Okay, so what I did is I took these all out. And I put 16, or I can't count. Yeah, 16 um, Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups in a tin. And then what you also need is you're going to need three cups of chocolate chips and one cup of condensed milk. So, and then what you're supposed to do, even though it says no bake, you put it in a saucepan. So that's what I'm going to do um, and try that. So, yeah. I saw this recipe, it's pretty easy, it's mostly for my husband, so I better read the directions first before I do that, but yeah, so this is what we're going to do. My cat decided to help. So we got the condensed milk in the saucepan, and now we need three cups of chocolate chips. And then what you're going to do is put this over the stove on low heat until the chocolate chips are completely melted. And then what we have left is eight um, Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups. Um, what we're going to end up using with those is we're going to use them as, um, we're going to crumple them up. And then those are going to be our topping. But first let's see, let's melt this stuff first. Okay, so I got the six, um, the six other Reese's pieces in a bowl, and then I'm gonna start um, breaking them up in pieces. Like they're gonna be like, they're gonna be spread over the chocolate chips, but I can't do this with, you know, with one hand. And then as you can see, I have a candy problem. But yeah, so right now the chocolate chips and the condensed milk is melting, and then we'll see what goes from there. Okay, so I got all the chocolate all melted with the condensed milk and then I crumbled up the other Reese's pieces. So what you're supposed to do is you pour the chocolate over the Reese's pieces and this is supposed to be like a fudge with the chocolate chips. And you want to make sure you get all over the all the corners and everything. Okay, so now it's all even. And then what you're supposed to do is sprinkle the Reese's pieces over it. And make sure you guys get the corners too, because usually everybody always wants the inside because that's where all the goodies are. But if you get all over the place, and you can add more Reese's pieces if you guys want. There's no rule. And then they kind of want you to just press it down. And 
And the chocolate will start, you know, to harden, not really fast, but then what they want you to do is put it, um, put plastic over it and then put it in a cool place and let it harden for like an hour or so. So we will see what it is, tastes like after it's done. Okay, so this has been sitting in the refrigerator for almost an hour now, but it doesn't have to be truly hardened because it's fudge and fudge is not hard. It's supposed to be soft. So let's see what it looks like. Mmm. Yeah, and it's a nice firm texture. So then what you're supposed to do is just cut it in squares. Might be still a little too soft, but I don't care. And then let's see what this tastes like. It really good. So yeah, so you got your Reese's piece of kind of peanut butter cup, and then the fudge, and then the sprinkled. This is really good. This will probably be a new meal I make, but the, the fudge just needs to be a little bit hardened. But really good. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you try to make it yourself and it turns out the way I did or better. You know, this is my first try. But if you haven't already, push that subscribe button and help me out. You know, that'd be awesome. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching and catch another cooking video soon.